Today's morning devotional. The voice of the true shepherd. Many good works have I shewed you from my father, for which of those works do ye stone me? John chapter 10 verse 32. Jesus declared himself to be the true shepherd, because he gave his life for the sheep. He says, Therefore doth my father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. Jesus spoke these words in the hearing of a large concourse of people, and a deep impression was made upon the hearts of many who listened. The scribes and Pharisees were filled with jealousy because he was regarded with favor by many. While he represented himself as the true shepherd, the Pharisees said, He hath a devil, and is mad, why hear ye him? But others distinguished the voice of the true shepherd, and said, These are not the words of him that hath a devil. Can a devil open the eyes of the blind? And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews round about him, and said unto him, How long dost thou make us to doubt? If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and ye believed not. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I and my Father are one. With what firmness and power he uttered these words. The Jews had never before heard such words from human lips, and a convicting influence attended them, for it seemed that divinity flashed through humanity as Jesus said, I and my Father are one. Jesus looked upon them calmly and unshrinkingly, and said, Many good works have I shewed you from my Father, for which of those works do you stone me? The majesty of heaven stood, calmly assured, as a god before his adversaries. Their scowling faces, their hands filled with stones, did not intimidate him. He knew that unseen forces, legions of angels, were round about him, and at one word from his lips they would strike with dismay the throng, should they offer to cast upon him a single stone. He stood before them undaunted. Why did not the stones fly to the mark? It was because divinity flashed through humanity, and they received a revelation, and were convicted that his were no common claims. The hands relax and the stones fall to the ground. His words had asserted his divinity, but now his personal presence, the light of his eye, the majesty of his attitude, bore witness to the fact that he was the beloved Son of God.